The chamber it has been established 2013 by the law, which is uh, uh, came into power next uh, year January, and with that law, the membership on the chamber of agriculture should be mandatory. So all the players of the agriculture, including the food sector, have to be our members. So all together nowadays we're representing more than 400,000 members. If you want to representing uh, the whole sector. Uh, you should hear all the players' voice. And uh, if it's voluntary, not everybody inside, but if it's mandatory, they do. Actually now is uh, 127,000 people are working in the agricultural sector nowadays. So there's a total number, but of course so many companies which is dealing with the food sector and uh, several companies dealing with uh, crops or, or cattle or breeding. We have two, actually two pillars for our uh, chamber. The first one is a, a kind of a, a non-governmental organization. It's, uh, we have a, each county, we have a president and also we have a general president. The, the leaders of the chamber has been voted by the members every five years. We have the election last year and uh, we got the same management like we had before. And the mandate for our leaders for five years. And the other stage, other pillar, is the professional legs where the 600 rural uh, network advisor or farm advisors are working for us. They really do the administration job for the farmers. They can come to us and talk with us and can get answer quickly and straight. And in the past that was more difficult because had so many independent separate organizations to, to catch them, to get them together, it takes ages. And nowadays all the regulation are, are need to be very fast, very effective. So the new CAP our uh, position is very simple, we want to have the same amount we had before. Uh, capping, we think it should be on the national level, so the countries can decide it if they whether they want to use it or they don't want to use it, that's not important, but they should decide it, that's very important. And uh, rural development, the most important things, we don't want to uh, pay for the migration issues from the rural development money. Shouldn't farmer pay for the immigration. The whole uh, CAP is still working on it, so it, we don't have any exact uh, position at the moment. Everything is working on it, so that's why it's the good things to be following the Copa Cojaga's point of view, which is uh, almost the same like ours, apart from the capping. And what is it? Actually, the same as like the rest of the, the European countries.